My contents for 13 and upwards, don't collect another product. We have some interesting developments for Beyblade Burst, and let's take a look at it. Hello everyone, before we continue with this video, subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on. Alright, now let's get to the main topic of this video. There have been some recent developments uh, with Burst, more specifically for Takara Tomi updating for tournament dates. They seemingly have dates up until March 2023. First of all, obviously more updates will come on its way, but I think it's a fun discussion topic because we don't know and it is a little bit interesting what it leads to and I want to go into what are my thoughts. Now, first of all, we're going to go over all the possibilities for what this could mean. Number one, them going all the way up until March is just to finish up that next financial report that they do and Beyblade Burst ends, finishes, that's it. They wrap up March, go. I, I, don't, I don't think they will. I think it's probably option two. What I'm thinking is that past December, I think we'll get filler stuff. If you recall post DB, like in between DB and BU, we got releases like Prominence Valkyrie, which was just like this filler release where they tried to like slap good parts on it, whatever. And then after there was like the protagonist Belial random booster. So they made filler stuff uh, leading into the following BU. And don't forget too, actually, that we know for sure they're at least going to February because February is the remake set. And there's no way that they're going to end off on that uh, December release, which is supposed to be a BU Lucifer, and not go beyond that. I think at bare minimum, it has to be something filler or there has to be something more. So m what I personally think, mostly option two, is that we will probably get filler releases similar to Prominence and like the Protagonist Booster. Maybe they just try to make it like decent enough to where it can end off okay. I, I think that's pretty plausible, right? You know, uh, now the third one, this is where it's very possible considering Burst, if you've seen it. If you notice on like any financial report, they'll always say that even if the sales are declining, they're still selling really well. Something else I didn't even think about was that original image on the report of Beyblade Burst and the whole evergreen thing, right? So if you notice all the years, whatever, it's like 2023 is there. Now, even if it's like in reference to the Hasbro years, whatever, here's what I'm thinking is that it's been going on for a really long period of time. They'll always say it's doing well, it keeps on going. And if even if you want to say, well, technically, if you think about it, they don't say end, they just say 2023. Maybe they expand past 2023. Maybe they just keep it going. Maybe the generation ends 2023, right? It, it, it's a lot to think about. The thing, the thing, the fact is that the tournaments things are going towards March is what's r really making me think that this thing maybe just keeps going, or maybe it does really just end in March, and that would be the 2023, maybe the new generation, space, whatever, for the thing. Or maybe they're saving up till April. We're, we're not going to really know. But I think it's such an interesting thing to think about, because we don't know what direction it's going to go to. I would hope, no matter what, and I think we can all agree, that it ends well. That's all I want. I want it, I want one generation, where they end it right, 100%. It, it keeps making money. It just keeps doing it. So for them, so long as they see profits make sense, for them, make sense, milk a cash cow, keep it going till it dies. That, like, Burst is like the longest running, just because it keeps selling well, and also because, well, the products are very fragile compared to the previous generation, so people have to buy a lot of copies, so that's why it also keeps on going, but, if it sells, it sells, right? So I think this could maybe be, you know, maybe they keep it going and maybe we get some BU plus whatever and they, and they expand it a little bit more. Even if, let's say, the third option happens, I, I don't see it going past anywhere beyond that. Like, what else can you do? Answer me this, even though we've done the spec, beyond even if they do a BU plus, right? They, they can't do much because what else interest is there? Just just end it. Just end it. Like, there's no animation, right? Which, again, I know that in Japan, you know, the anime is not quite... Like, kind of like... 
it, it, in Japan for how the anime is, it's not as like much of a strong advertisement force as it would be here in the West. So I can understand. But you know, like there's gotta be something going for it. And I guess BU has done that because BU say what you want. It, it's honestly done well for no animation. Like I have been hyped for the releases competitive or casual like they, they've at least been exciting enough and unique enough where they can actually work like even if you want to say oh the releases take from previous but well who cares if it's good and it's fun and exciting i'll take it right but that's where i want to really leave off with because there's nothing more i can go beyond this you tell me if you think it's option one option two option three Whatever option gets me my 40 remakes, I will take it. So as we're ending off, I want to mention that we have a store where you have a pre-order for the Ultimate Fusion VX set. It is releasing very, very soon. So if you are interested and you want to get the Ultimate Fusion VX set, please check out our store. It is an optional way to support the channel. We have other deals and bundles on our shop and I greatly do appreciate any support, any tips or anything. I, I, I appreciate it a lot. It does help us uh, support the channel, especially with what YouTube <laughs> deals with creators. So yeah, uh, enjoy uh, any other content this week. I think uh, you'll probably see a battle with wind or something later today or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good week. So have an amazing day and bye.